Hey guys, uh, Sally here from Strength for Dance and today we are going to be looking at an exercise to work on deep hip flexor um, endurance work. Now I did this exercise on a course with uh, Dr. Alison Grimaldi here in Sydney who's one of the lead physios that does lots of research into hips here. Great information, great course. Okay, so we're going to start off supporting the back. So you're going to come against the wall and feel connection with mid pelvis, mid ribs, mid head. So if you've got lots of hair and it's in a bun, you'll need to pop it up on your head so you can actually find those three points of connection. And we want to keep them there. You're then going to flex the hip. And again, we want to think of the hip rolling back in the socket as it flexes. So it draws back and under. So feel this part of the hip drop down. We're going to bring it to about 90. Now, if you just pop your hand here, so you've got contact with your knee, and we want to be able to stay here. So the trick is, throughout this exercise, we don't want to see the leg dropping down and fatiguing. The supporting knee is going to be stacked as well. And then we're going to swing the lower leg like a pendulum, forwards and backwards. We're aiming for a minute or 20 to 30 swings. So with me stacked here, I've got my supporting knee soft, draw the hip in, I'm just gonna hold here, and then swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, billions and billions and up to 30. Now, what we're doing here is maintaining endurance isometric work with the deep hip stabilizers and the more superficial hip flexors so muscles like rec fem and sartorius are contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing. So they're not working in an isometric manner. They're just having a nice swing with momentum. And then you would cover go on the other side. Now, because we work with our legs quite high up, we can work here at 90, which is often where our starting clinic, but then we can work into a slightly higher knee flexion here as long as we've still got our three points of connection. So again, then we have our swing, making sure the knee stays where it is and doesn't slowly dribble down as you get fatigued. So, lovely exercise to work on. I actually have this exercise in the Bandit's Core Hip and Pelvic, <laughs> hip and pelvic Training Program as well. So if you want more things like that, don't forget to check into that program. See you soon, guys. Bye.